There are some things in life that are universal. Regardless of the year you were born, city, state, even country, chances are when you were a little boy or girl, you wanted to be a cowboy or cowgirl. And this love affair with the cowboy way of life was born out of the Great Western. In 1939, Columbia Studios decided to film a movie uh, based on the book called Arizona. Director Wesley Ruggles had fallen in love with the old Pueblo while filming scenes for the movie Cimarron in 1930. So they set about building a replica of 1860s Tucson. At the time, there was nothing out here. To build the set, they allocated $150,000. They had a map of Tucson from 1864. They hired 30 laborers, 180 carpenters, 120 bricklayers. The movie Arizona starred William Holden and Gene Arthur. At the time, the film set a new standard for the way Westerns were shot. I believe it set a, a real uh, benchmark. Prior to that, most sets were just false fronts. They stuck them up, they put a camera there, people came and stood in front of them and said lines. This was a set where they could actually ride through a town, they could change, they could pan the camera and you would see three-dimensionally up one street, down another street. After the film, for a while, Old Tucson was forgotten. But when a slew of Western films dominated the mid-40s and 50s, it came back to life. Movie companies come out here, they had a perfectly good Western set they could use. And during their tenure from 1945 to 1959, 31 movies were made here. Gene Autry, Randolph Scott, John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart, Ronald Reagan, Greer Garson, I mean, on and on and on. Then came the Western television series. The first series were some of the episodes of Bonanza. Have Gun Will Travel. The big series of what really put TV on the market here was the High Chaparral. They started filming in 1966. And for that set, they built a ranch house and a barn just to the east of where we're sitting now. They become our classic sets here. Recognize the backdrop behind PJ? Oh, well, right now we're in front of our mission set. The original mission was built here in 1939 as part of the set for movie Arizona. Um, over the years, it's been in probably a hundred movies. Uh, throughout the years, up until 1985, it appeared as a small adobe Mexican-style church. 1985, when they filmed The Three Amigos, they put the facade on it that you see now. Um, and you'll probably recognize it most in the movie Tombstone, the opening scene where the cowboys ride into town and they uh, kill the wedding party. The park opened to tourists in 1960 when Midwest entrepreneur Robert Shelton took over. At one point, he even paved the park's western streets. But he was given an ultimatum by John Wayne after the actor found out about a horse riding accident that happened there. There was an accident with a stunt rider making a hard right, slipped on the pavement, went down. John Wayne heard about that, said if he wanted uh, John Wayne to do any more movies out here, he better remove the pavement, and they did. From gunfights in the streets to a make-believe horse stampede that stirs up the dust, today, Tourists come by the thousands every year to see and experience that taste of the Wild West. As Americans, we have always looked to the frontier. Americans have always been those that looked over the next hill. The Wild West, even though it was a, such a short period of time, like 30 years, so ingrained in our imagination as the frontier. And people still want that. They, they might live in New York City. They might be cheek to jowl with other people but in their heart, they'd want to be on a horse riding off into the sunset. Arizona Highways Television is brought to you by Arizona Public Service and the Arizona Office of